Isn't that beautiful? It's like a dusky rose, but we're going to make a stepper card. But you're also going to get the downloads to make three sizes of the stepper card that we're going to get. You're getting the three sizes of the 3D uh, pages of the roses, so you can, you can assemble this any way you want. But you're also getting four of the um, templates for making the stepper cards, like this one here. So you can see the stepper. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But let's run through everything that you're going to get in this set, shall we? So have a look at this. So you're going to be making this card. So we give you a picture just to give you an idea of what you're going to be making. And look at this. It'd be beautiful for an anniversary, a birthday. You're also going to get the little best wishes. But obviously you can stick on there whatever you want. If it's happy anniversary or a congratulations or thank you. Anything you want, we give you the best wishes. It's a little bit kind of kind of covers most occasions. So this is what we're going to make. You're also getting the download, the picture of what it is. Now you've also got in here, you've also got the template. Now when you print this out, for example, I've got a piece of card here. There's the piece of card that we're going to use in the template. And I just put that through my printer and printed this directly onto the back of the card. Um, and then that's the one we're going to use. I'll show you that bit by bit. Then you've got the main decoupage sheet here. You've got everything on that sh one sheet there to decorate this card with. You've got the full roses there. You've also got various leaves. It's not exactly decoupage, the 3D sheet. And you've also got the best wishes sentiment there if you want to put that on. Then you've got the next size down. You've got the next size down that will give you a smaller stepper card. So on this sheet, when you print it out, you've got everything you need. You've got the... Um, you've got all the decoupage sets there, and you've also got the template there as well. In this case, I would cut this out and then just draw, make little pencil marks where everything is, either end, create your own, or you can print this straight onto the card. If you're doing that onto white card, then these could be in card too. Then you've also got the next size down that's going to give you a nice little one there. A nice little stepper card with the roses on. But also, because of these, you could use this one. But one of the big roses, you could make all sorts of things. And look at this one. That would make a fantastic little... Kind of, imagine that on the table of a wedding. And so you've got the pink there. And you can do little kind of uh, name plates with the steppers on there. And the little roses. And then guests or anything you want. Anyway, those are all... You can download these as many times as you like once you've got them. So the first we, thing we've done is I've got this here, I've got this beautiful card and I've just printed it straight from the download, straight onto here, you can do this as many times as you like. And then taking a scalpel and a metal ruler, I've just split that, I just put my metal ruler on there and make sure you've got a uh, board underneath and imagine this is my scalpel, just scalpel down there and that splits just there. Then all I have to do is take my embossing tool and where all of the dotted lines are all I have to do is just crease down here just make a little indentation into the stepper card now if you go and have a look at all the stepper templates you'll find loads and loads and loads of different templates there and the great thing with this is as well you can just print this straight onto the back of the card so it's a true digital template you don't even need a template just put it straight onto the back and everything is ready to go so what we're going to do now and this is so quick and easy for you to make as well if you need a quick card. That's just going to fold over there like that. And you can see how that splits. If you want to, you can take your boning tool or the back of a pen or something like that. Nothing sharp and just make that crease really strong. And then what you've got inside, you've got these, cre these lines here. You're only going to crease this side. Don't try to crease all the way across there, which I catch some people doing. And uh, the way I do it, best of all, is you, from this side, you can feel where it is. So you know that that first one's always going to go forward. Then the next one's going to go... That's going to go backwards, I apologise. The next one's going to go up. And the next one's going to go down, like so. And then that's up. And then that's down again at the bottom. So you end up with that and that. And that, sorry I'm doing this back to front, like that. And you can see how that's concertinaed now. And then just press it down so it's nice, nicely flat. And there is your card ready to decorate. That's fantastic, isn't it? Looks really good. So whichever way you put it, you can just decorate that up. Now I've got my little sentiment here, which I've just put some double-sided tape on the back. 
So I'm just going to decorate this now. Let's put the sentiment on there. Let's try and get it the right way around. That's just going to go there. So that's going to, I'm going to try and keep that free so it's not going to get covered. Next, I've got all my pieces here. I've taken all my pieces and I've cut them all out. And I've put some uh, double-sided glue on the back here so it's remaining tacky. So what I'm doing is I'm going to stick these down. Now you can use foam pads if you want to. All these are cut out and ready to go. But then you can mix and match and build up. But I'm going to, go to put this one pretty flat. So should we make it together? Yes. So I'm going to start off with that one. I say you can put them anywhere you want. So I'm going to press that one onto there. And that will be stuck on there like that. And then where am I going to do the next one? I think I'll do the next one just up there. So I can tuck it underneath there and just press it down like so. And then I'm going to stick that one, I think, at the back here. And I've got a small one which I'm going to stick here, just like that. And then I've got some, I've got some leaves. So I think that, that one just needs a little few leaves on here, like so, like that. And you can see how you can just build this up and make it really effective. Just slot underneath. I've just got a little bit of uh, glue underneath there that's sticking this together. Look how simple this is to put together. And I'm working back to front, upside down here. I'm going to put a little... Uh, bud just coming out of the top there and uh, you can decoupage up over the top as well you don't have to do it all flat and let's put another one down here like that and another one over here maybe like so just put it on there there you go so I think I'm going to stop at that you see there's a beautiful card that you can make and I've just got the leaves you can add as many leaves as you want to that and build it up so it looks absolutely fantastic so don't forget you're getting the four different sizes in that set so if I just put these around it so you can see what you're going to get there you go you're getting all these different sizes and you're getting the main card as well so if you want to make that exact card all you've got to do is download it and print it off and make it as many times as you like, but you are getting four sizes. Anyway, you could be making that in minutes, so download it now and get making.